Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a, an unboxing for project uh, 66 here. We got project 66 here on the bench. Anyway, exciting day. Uh, going to do an unboxing, so here it is. Okay guys, here's the box. Coming in from Brenton, Washington. Get my screen flipped around. Alright guys. Just going to get right into this one. I got a couple other things to do today. Sharpen this knife. Product disclaimer. All right, here we go. Here we go. One clutch cover for the 660. Pretty, pretty stoked about this one. Chip deflector. Didn't have one on before. Sweet. Okay. Go right on into installing this thing. So I got nuts on here. Okay, we got our hardware here. Make sure our nuts fit in the hole, and they do. So excited about this and vibrating. So these clutch covers are not cheap, guys. Uh, well over two hundred dollars for us Canadians. And then the Canadian government, so kind, charges us another twenty dollars. Isn't that nice? God, so lovely. Dokey. So I got stainless nuts there on the inside, 8 mil, and M5 I believe this is. Just up to snug. We are going to put our chain sliders on here. This is very, very nice, guys. This is uh, urethane, I believe. They say it's machined. So it's pretty nice. Wow. There we go, just that quick, guys. Comes with still bar nuts. I have some already. I don't have a chain on, a uh, bar and chain on, obviously. But there we go. Uh, falling line on it, lines up and everything. That's so awesome. Wow. Here we go. One step closer to being done this version of the saw, I guess. Very, very cool. This project's this project's come a very long way. There we go, guys. Very quick video. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you like that, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification button so that when I upload, you get a notification. Uh, more stuff coming with the saw in the near future. I'm going to be porting an exhaust, doing an exhaust mod. 
Um, this version of this saw is close to complete. Um, this winter I'll be doing more internal upgrades on this saw, uh, possibly starting in an online store. For those upgrade parts, they'll only be available through us. Uh, very, very interesting stuff on the way. Hopefully we can get that happen here. But yeah, let's do a walk around on the saw. Right? Velocity stack, unit filter, pod, right? We're all dyed. We got a, a woods port from a woods port job from uh, Walker Saw Shop in Nanaimo. I got a skid plate on here on the bottom to protect all our aging steel parts. These are all brand new parts, but getting very, very hard to find these parts. New West Coast saw, clutch cover, indestructible these things. I'm a, if I can, I'll clip in a video of Gordy absolutely smashing the crap out of one of these. But yeah, West Coast saw, three point dogs. I got the chain catch dyed. All the hardware is, all the hardware on this saw is black oxide. Done that in house. Right? 660 starter with the lasso start. Got the poly flywheel in there that's died. Still bearings, still bottom end, still top end. Still cases, still fuel tank. Wall bro, I think it's the 67B. And a Chinese muffler, but West Coast saw bark box. Right, mostly steel parts. It's got a Chinese clutch and clutch drum, but it runs. So, there's the skid plate, and he's very, very, very happy with that saw. Very strong runner, West Coast style build. It'll pull, I'm pretty sure it'll pull a 36 inch bar. Just, I don't have any wood that size, so. But uh, yeah, upgrades coming to that saw this winter. I'm working on a few things. They'll only be available through us. Right here out of, a, out of our garage, uh, I'll, be, I'll be doing some things. Very, very interesting stuff coming this way uh, for the 660s and then we'll be expanding the model line uh, still and Husqvarna. So hopefully that's on the way. Um, if you like this video, like I said, hit the thumbs up button. Greatly, greatly appreciated if you can do that for us. Um, hit the subscribe button. And if you like seeing these videos, hit that bell notification button. Thanks for coming, guys. I appreciate your, your views. I'll see you next time.